gentlemen, a couple things. On, our, on, the last, on the last homework quiz, if you guys remember, right, I gave you, which I already went over, <laughs> I gave you the polynomial and I gave you a zero. And I said, since I'm giving you a zero, we know that we can determine, since that's a zero, we know that the zero will evenly divide using synthetic division or the factor will evenly divide, right? So therefore, if we were to evenly divide, we get a remainder of zero. So there's a couple different ways you guys can do this. But if I'm telling you this is a zero, therefore, that means by synthetic division, this is going to work. One, one, nine, nine. Yes? If that's a zero, that means I can use that on synthetic division. And I will get a remainder of zero. So let's go and take a look, see if that works. Bring down the one. One times three i is three i. One plus three i is not four i, it's one plus three i. Okay? Now, one plus three i times three i, let's just do it over here just so you guys can remember the multiplying of the products. That becomes 3i um, plus 9i squared, which would be 3i minus 9. Yes? yes? Okay. So therefore, this becomes 3i minus 9. 3i minus 9 plus uh, 9 is now just going to be 3i. 3i times 3i. is going to be 9i squared, which equal to negative 9. So perfect, we have a remainder of 0. But now we have our quotient, remainder, constant, linear, quadratic. Now, we kind of have a little problem, though, because if we, we still want to find the remaining zeros. We want to find all the zeros, right? That means here's my other factor. I need to factor this. And you can see the coefficients do not look fun, right? Now, you can still go through a factoring process with this, and you can still figure it out. But this is going to be a lot more confusing. So now I need to kind of go back to the drawing board and say, all right, if I know 3i is a 0, then I know that what else has to be a 0? Yeah, it's negative 3i. So guess what? If I know that this is a 0, then what I'm going to do is divide by using this quotient one more time with my other 0. Think about it this way. Um, you think of the number 12, right? Yes. 6, or you, um, you could say that uh, 4, no, yeah, you could say uh, 3 is a divisor of 12, right? Or 3 is a factor of 12. 3 goes into 12 how many times? <coughs> 4 times. But can you factor out 4 again with another factor of 2? Yeah. Right? You could also say that 2 is a factor, and so if you do 3 divided by 12, you get 4, and then you factor it again with the number 2, because that's another factor. Here are my two factors. I divide it in once, and I get this factor. But then I'm like, that's a little too crazy. So I'm going to divide it again by another factor. So then what I'll do is I'll now just take the 0. And now I'll take this remaining part, which is now going to be 1, 1 plus 3i, and 3i. So now I do synthetic division with my, um, my quotient of my previous problem. Again, I bring down the 1. 1 times negative 3i is a negative 3i. 1 plus 3i minus 3i is just going to be 1. 1 times negative 3i is negative 3i, which is 0. Remainder, constant, linear. So therefore, you could say your, um, so therefore you could set this equal to 0. You could say x plus 1. That's my quotient. Now, is that quotient a factor or is that a 0? It's a factor, right? So our factor, if we want to find the 0, set it equal to 1 or 0. So therefore, you set your factor equal to 0, and therefore, there's your final answer. OK? So that's what I was asking you guys to do um, for those types. I know I didn't get to one of those. I did upload some of those from the other class.